mother of an LAPD officer who died of spinal cord injuries, says he was beaten during a training exercise meant to simulate a mob. She's making these claims in a new wrongful death lawsuit in Los Angeles. Alex Capriello is joining us live with this story. So sad. Shocking new details inside a wrongful death lawsuit filed against the city of Los Angeles. The family of Houston Tipping, a 32-year-old Los Angeles police officer, claimed their son was repeatedly struck in the head by fellow officers, suffering multiple breaks in the neck, which caused his death. At his funeral, his father broke down in front of a large crowd of LAPD's top brass and mayor, Eric Garcetti. His life mattered. His days had become a sacred calling. The story about Houston uh, Tipping, who was killed by his fellow officers in training, as you saw there, uh, ended with that funeral where his father is heartbroken. Let's keep it real, because they beat him to death. Uh, his mom even said some of those uh, fellow officers that were carrying his casket were part of that death. Jesus Christ. It's even worse. Let's watch more. According to a public LAPD release last month, Tipping was grappling with another officer at the training academy when he fell to the floor and suffered a spinal cord injury. But the lawsuit claims it was several officers simulating a mob when Tipping was beaten to death. Police Chief Michael Moore did not specifically address the details of the incident when he took to the podium at the funeral, only calling it a tragic accident. We've lost a bright light that shined into the darkness. And while we'll miss him, we will never forget him. In the lawsuit, the family questioned the merit of the training exercise, pointing to other injuries to officers in the past. The department has launched its own investigation to determine if any changes need to be made. The department has launched their investigations themselves to see if they should not do what they did that just murdered one of their officers in training. Here's a few more details, because Captain Kelly Muniz, who is the LAPD spokeswoman, said on Friday that the department could not comment on the claim or the nature of the training exercise, because they're investigating themselves. But she said, the department is taking the matter seriously and has launched its own investigation into the incident, in part to determine whether there are any charges that need to be made or lessons that may be learned. I'm not sure if we have any lessons that we can learn from uh, murdering one of our cops in a training exercise. Uh, as if we're a bunch of uh, folks in the street beating up on an officer. I just want to talk about that training too in a second. Uh, but I want to get your first thoughts on this wise because we should be talking about the basis for that training in the first place. Yeah, I, I, I happen to be rewatching The Wire in celebrations of tw in celebration of 20 years since the show first aired. And what the show really effectively does is like, they show you what makes cases and what doesn't. And repeatedly, they're telling you like these dudes that jump out on corners and beat dudes up and rough dudes up. That's not how you make cases. How you make mm -hmm. cases is building relationships, cultivating um, confidential informants, getting people to talk to you. Um, that's how you make cases. I don't know how this exercise is helping that dude be a better cop, period. It's just not. And that's, not, the, that's the biggest tragedy of all of this. This isn't in service of this guy being better at policing his community at all. And you know what, it actually shines a light. I know this is specific to LAPD right now. We don't know which other uh, departments across the country maybe do training exercises where other cops act like a gang of folks jumping on one cop. Um, but think about what that does teach though. And maybe how it transfers into how Specifically, I guess in this case, the LAPD responds to folks when they encounter them in the streets, which we saw in protests every time it happens. So if you've been trained, this is training. If you've been trained to get beat up by six, however, 10 guys, and then the training is to figure out how to get out of the situation. What's the training for? Was the training for officer tipping to get up and go to shooting, to pull out his weapons in any kind of way, to disable the guys that are jumping on him? What's the training for? Which might tell us why as soon as someone approaches an officer, they go straight to aggression. Because like I was trained to think, oh my God, they're coming for me because that's what they train me to do, jump on me. Because that's what anybody in the streets is gonna do. They're gonna jump on me and they're gonna kill me. And in this case, they did. So the training becomes be aggressive as possible in anticipation of not being murdered by a gang of folks that jump on you in the streets. I think that's the first thing they should look into and see if they should put some tweaks to that system. It says a lot, it says a lot. We always talk about the cops need to be retrained. They're being trained this way. Maybe some insight into how they're trained in the first place. Maybe the community should know how they're trained so they can know what they're up against when they go into them streets against those cops. It's devastating for that family, I feel really bad for them.